Ramsey's still going. Another ball into the middle. Walcott's there. And it's 2-0. And Theo's got his second of the game. And it goes to Coquelin. And it's Koscielny who wins it. I wasn't even controlling him, but he's won the header. That gives us a one-goal lead. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Fever 16 Arsenal Karimo series. So today we're going to start off with the first game, away from home versus Aston Villa. We have got a massive game coming up in today's episode versus Manchester City. So this is actually going to be the final episode before the transfer window is open. So you guys leave comments down below with what players you want to see join the club. And also before we head into the first game, if you guys could smash over 1,000 likes on this episode, the next episode will be uploaded to the channel. Look how good our defence has been so far this season. Like Man United, who are currently a point behind us, have conceded double the goals we have uh, conceded so far. So seven goals so far we have conceded. That's a great tackle. And now Steo got the pace, and he does. And right, now can Ozil gain support? Ozil over the top. That's a good ball. Can Ozil get there, but the goalkeeper is out. But you can see the pace of Walcott. It's exactly why he scored so many goals recently. Now it goes into Xobia. They're really slow to build up. Now it's Gusted on the ball. This is a man to watch. Ball into the middle, but Czech is there. Coquelin in space. It's a great first touch. Right now into the middle. Ozil's there in the Sanchez. Now to Alexis Sanchez. Now to shoot. Blocked off, and we just can't get the shot away. That was a poor decision from me. Should have at least shot early with Ozil, but we're getting closer to that first goal. Ball into the middle. And Villa have scored the opener. And that was out of nothing. Like, I wouldn't even expect them to score, let alone get a ball into the box. But Zogbia has given Villa the lead. Maybe Czech was the question for that. So for the first like 45 minutes, they've done nothing but pass the ball around. Like, have, they've not had a, a single shot on goal yet. Then with their first shot on goal, Zogbia found so much space in the middle and has completed the goal. Look at that. It's too easy. Yes, Sanchez cuts inside. Still Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez! And it finds a way in. And I thought it was offside of Ozil, but Sanchez has got the goal, and that was off kickoff. But my question is, where was the Villa defence? Like, look how far behind the ball they are. Like, it's not, it's like so far for Sanchez to run into. It took a deflection off the Villa defender, but it was heading on target. And there's Sanchez with another goal. And I think his fifth or sixth of the season, but one of his best. Oh my God, how has he kept it? Coquelin just standing there like he wants him to have the ball. Now Sanchez with the ball into the middle. Great tackle there from Bellerin, but on comes Welbeck now as my striker. Like, Walcott was doing a good job, but I think he's better on the wing. Well, here we go. Massive chance to take the lead now. Welbeck in space. Danny Welbeck to shoot, and he's found the back of the net with three minutes to go. And Danny Welbeck with a fantastic goal. What a finish that was. Coquelin found the space there, found Welbeck, and the defending again was questionable. But it's been such a boring second half. Like, we've had nothing to make a chance out of and that was a great finish and that was the final bit of action I'm so happy that I've beaten Aston Villa the way they play on this game like how defensive they are how boring they are to play against but we have got the win it's a crucial 2-1 win which should hopefully take us I think a few points clear of Man United so how have United done so they play Bournemouth later on and I'm guessing they'll win that game like Bournemouth a newly promoted team so if they win the game it means we're now one point ahead of them, but they do have the game in hand. Before our second game of today's episode, we got some good news as Jack Wilshire is now back into full training. So he'll be taking part in his first training sessions of the season. And also we're going to try and attempt to get Sampa closer to that 73 rated. And hopefully we can get him over the 73. So we're going to find out in a few seconds time how they have done. Sam gets an A, a D and a D. So that should take him to 73. Yes, it does. And Wilshire gets a B and a C. So Jack Wilshire is a player I'll definitely use in this series. Like I'm a big fan of him when he stays fit. So that's not much of the time. But I don't see any need to buy a new centre midfielder. But of course it depends on if Wilshire can stay fit. So it's now time for the big game of today's episode versus Manchester City. So it's now time for the huge game of today's episode. Arsenal versus Manchester City. And I've checked the table and I think the City are not doing too well. So not near Man United in second. I think they're way off the lead. And they are currently in 10th place with, out of their first 15 games, 20 points. So that is not too, that's terrible for Man City standards. Uh, but anyway, this, is, this was an absolutely incredible game last year. Sanchez got that amazing volley. And of course, Jack Wilshere scored that chip over Joe Hart. But it was an amazing game. And I'm hoping for something different in this game versus Manchester City. That's a great ball at the top. Oh, it could have been so good. Because all he gets it back though. And I've tried to play it through. Into Ozil. What a finish. It's Meza Ozil with a fantastic volley past Joe Hart. And it looked like we we're destined to score because every time I missed the pass or missed the shot, I got the ball back. 
finally Ozil scored the goal. So Mangala can clear it away. Then Kazula, for some reason, I tried to pass it through Navas. Didn't really work. It found Ozil. And that is a cracking finish. This is not good. Torre. Now into Clichy. Oh, he's found the way inside. Yaya yeah, yeah, into Aguero's Torre. And a great save from Czech. But now the corner from De Bruyne. Ball into the middle. That's a poor header. Koscielny off the line. Ozil Koscielny again. It's fallen to Torre. And he misses the open goal. But like Koscielny, that is well played. And that is not gone over the line. Although I thought it did. Koscielny has saved two golden opportunities for City. And I mentioned that how good Man City would be from corners. But that is incredible defending. That's well, great play. Ozil keeps going. Now it's Giroud to shoot. And it's just wide, but the City going very attacking. So this can be a great game, guys. I expect a lot of goals. And, like, I know my defence has been great so far this season, but I'm expecting to concede. That's a great pass. And Theo's now through. Walcott. But Sterling did well. But I thought he would go down, maybe, uh, Theo Walcott. But Sterling did well to keep him up as well. But we are dominating this game at the moment. Because Zola has been controlling that midfield. And he goes to Ozil again. A lot of space. It's blocked off. Oh, I was trying to find Giroud. But we've got another chance here. It's Ramsey. Well, not. It's Coquelin. Now on the ball. Goes straight past De Bruyne. And a massive chance here from the free kick. Right, 22 yards out. Santi to take it. Two bars of power. And it's just over. But I thought that was destined for the goal. But just over from Cazorla. Here we go again. And now Sanchez. Out to Theo Walcott. Ball across the middle. Great ball to Ozil. And it's 2-0. And a rare double from Meza Ozil. But that all has to go to Theo Walcott with a phenomenal ball into Meza Ozil. Again, it's fantastic counter-attacking play. Walcott on the ball. Finds Ozil in the middle. And Ozil gets another goal. So that is fantastic. So now into the second half of this Arsenal City game. And I think this is going to be my final game on, on World Class. Sorry. And hopefully in the next game we'll make the jump up to legendary so let's see how we go in second obviously nothing is confirmed yet and City have definitely had their chances but a 2-0 win at the moment and we are pretty comfortable yes Gibbs still going and now the ball into Meza Ozil is Coquelin and what a save I thought that was Ozil but Coquelin getting forwards and where is this City defence oh Mersaka loses out it's Bonnie and off the outside of the crossbar but that's City's first chance yes Giroud so much space Giroud to shoot and a great save. But again, where is their defence? Where is their midfield going defensively? Like, they've had nothing going attacking or defensively. But the ball comes in. Koscielny is there. And Ozil is on sides. And can get a ball back into Welbeck. Does well. Danny Welbeck still going. Uh, Sterling does well. Ball again. Now goes to Navas. Great save. And hits the side netting. I think it's Fernando with the final shot. Great switch there from Bellerin. And that's Danny. Going to try and go. For that last goal. Now Danny Welbeck inside. Against this tired City defence. And still Welbeck. Still Welbeck going. Welbeck to shoot. And it's just wide. But there we go guys. A fantastic win against so-called champions Manchester City from a few years ago. And of course they're one of the best teams in England right now. So for this week of training. Gone with the same two players. And Wilshire got a C and a C. Sam got a D. Then he got a B. And then he got an A in El Rondo. So that's the hardest one he has to do. And he got the best grades. So there we go. And you can see there, guys, we are currently now a few points clear at West Ham. And they are somehow in second place. They've done an absolutely incredible job so far. United in third place. They're currently six, point, uh, six points behind us with the game in hand. And Chelsea are currently in fourth place. And look at Manchester City all the way down in 12th place. And now time for the final game of today's episode. It's now time for a visit back to my old club on FIFA 15. It is, of course, Southampton. So this will be my first game back on Legendary. And let's see if we can grab a win. Off it goes to Sanchez. And a great win to Ozil. Goldie comes out. And luckily he did because I thought for a second it was a bad decision, but it ended up being the right one. But I can already tell that legendary is going to be so much harder. Like the, the way they keep the ball, it's not really about the skill of the players, it's just the way they keep it. Like they have so much more strength. Oh, it's a terrible pass. And now Southampton are through, and Shane Long finds Isgrove. And two players get in the way. What are they doing in their own box? Ball into the middle, but Gabriel gets it away. So there we are, guys. End of the first half. And so far, it's all right. But of course, like we get like none of the possession. It's just because they're so strong on the ball. But Southampton, like with all the possession they've had, they've done nothing with it. So let's get into the second half. And hopefully they'll go more attacking, which will lead to more chances for us. All right, it's Termi. It's Mane. Gabriel does well. Players again falling over each other. We get it away. And Ozil's too slow again. Like, it's just the speed of the play. Again, they found a way past. 
Now Tadic with the ball into the middle and Czech does well, but what a punch that was. But seriously, this is impossible. Like, I can't get the ball at all. Like, how is there such a massive jump from world class to legendary? The ball comes into the middle and again we miss out on the header, but it's out for another corner. Right, it goes up to Theo Walcott and there's no one in the box. Like, what is he doing? But Walcott finds way inside. Another ball into the middle and Sanchez was so close to it. Kazola keeps the ball alive and now it's Ramsey to shoot and blocked off. Walcott now in, but it's offside. But that, I think, is the first shot we've had in the whole game. It does show you a lot about Legendary. That was a poor clearance. Wilbeck now in through. Well, what a save from the goalkeeper, but that happened so quickly. And if I could do that again, I just wouldn't like have the touch. But there we go, guys. That is going to be the end of today's episode. And I want you guys to leave two comments down below. The first one is, what players do you want to see me sign in the next episode? Which, by the way, is the first episode in the transfer window. And also, should I keep it on Legendary or move it back to World Class? Because obviously, that was a lot tougher. I barely had any chances on goal. But if you guys want me to like dominate the league, a World Class is probably a better option. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.